Jose Mourinho has already said that Man United will be busy in the summer transfer window, but who will be the ideal signings for Manchester United? We asked you, and here's what you had to say. Now, we sent the question out on Twitter. If you don't follow us, it's at peoplesperson underscore and at United People's TV. And we asked you who you think Man United's ideal summer signings would be. Three positions and three players. And we had a ton of replies. So what I'm going to do in this video is just run through the list of who you think Man United will sign. There's plenty of players in here that I haven't watched much forward slash at all in some cases, but we'll do plenty of research going into the summer looking into them. But I'm just interested to know the names and the positions that you think Man United need to strengthen. First up, we've got Luke at MUFC Peace. He thinks that Man United should be signing Alderweireld, Alexandro and Milinkovic Savic. Now, we all know who Alderweireld is. Spurs centre-back. It looks like he's going to be leaving Spurs this summer. Where's he going to go? United, I do agree with you, Luke. I think Man United do need a new centre-back. And I also agree that Man United need a new left-back. I think Luke Shaw... That's why we're looking at Alexandro. He's a stunning player for Juventus. Properly world-class left-back. If Man United were able to lure him away from Juventus, he'd snap, his, he'd snap the hands off. Don't know whether we would or not. But his name certainly comes up plenty. And Milinkovic, Savic, midfielder who plays for Lazio. Haven't seen that much of him, I'll be honest. But he's a name that crops up plenty. Next up, we've got Ryan at Vintage underscore UTD. He's saying Sandro, Fabinho and Mares. Now, Fabinho, we all wanted to sign him last summer. We got Matic instead, and lo and behold, he's become one of our best players at the club. Good signing from Jose Mourinho, but I do think we need a central midfield reinforcement. So someone like Fabinho could come in, and he's a utility player. He can play right back as well, remember. That could be a very good signing. I think Fabinho's name will crop up quite a lot. Mares is an interesting one, and for me, if Mares was to come into the club, I'm not sure there will be a place for Juan Mata anymore. Who would you prefer to have, Mata or Mares? But Ryan, he's saying Sandro's second time. That's come up straight away. Fabinho and Mares. We've got Arjun here. Next, he's saying Sandro, Nainggolan and Mares. So both Sandro and Mares are you saying as well, Arjun, but Nainggolan. Now, he obviously plays for Roma. He played central midfield previously, but he's been operating more as a number 10 for the last couple of seasons at Roma. And that's when he's been his best. A proper no-nonsense, very physical midfielder. He can add a lot of bite to this United team, but is he the sort of central midfielder that we need to bring at the club? Let me know what you think in the comments. Next up, we've got Fadil. He's saying left-back, Alexandro. Centre-back, Samuel Umtiti or Kalidou Koulibaly. And a central defensive midfielder of Joshua Kimmich. Now, Sandro, as I said, he keeps cropping up. Loads and loads of you want to sign Alexandro. Now, Umtiti plays for Barcelona. Become a very good centre-back there. I'm not sure why Barcelona would sell him. And Koulibaly, obviously he scored that magical goal for Napoli against Juventus that kept the Serie A title race alive. Would be an expensive player. He was linked to Man City last summer. Obviously would be a very good centre-back. Both of those would be great centre-back signings. Tough to pull away Umtiti from Barcelona, but Koulibaly, for the right price, I think you could get him from Napoli. Now, Kimmich is an interesting one. Very young, very talented player who can operate in a number of positions. But would Bayern Munich let him go? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Next up, we've got Fantasista. He's saying Zielinski, Ricardo Pereira and Alderweireld. Now, Zielinski, he plays for Napoli and Ricardo Pereira plays for Porto. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen much of either player this season. So if you have, let me know in the comments why, if you agree with Fantasista, that either of those would be a very good signing. But Alderweireld is a name that crops up again. A Premier League ready centre-back that could come straight into this team, maybe partner Smalling or partner Bay. What would you think would be our best centre-back partnership if Alderweireld was to join? But for me, he's available at the right price because of all this contract negotiations that's dragged on a lot at Spurs. I think the relationship between his agent and Levy has broken down as well. So that could be another reason why he'd leave. Now, Art van der Leij, he is saying right back, a left back and a central midfielder. Saying Fabinho, Sandro and Jorginho or Fred. Now, Fred plays for Shakhtar Donetsk. And Jorginho, he plays for Napoli as well. So we've been linked to plenty of Napoli players from all of your suggestions. Now, Fred, I, again, I haven't watched much of Fred or Jorginho. So again, let me know in the comments. But Sandro and Fabinho, both their names come up again. Now, Ulufemi, he is saying Jorginho and Fred and Sandro. Same people. Tomek, you're saying Alderweireld, Fred and Alexandro. And we've got Zion Khan saying Manolas, Savic and Jorginho. Now, Manolas is obviously... That centre-back for Roma, they may have been spanked by Liverpool in the first Champions League semi-final leg. But he was the hero in Rome in the last quarter-final against Barcelona. He scored that last-minute 
goal, which proved to be the one that took Roma through despite losing the first leg 4-1. Uh, Savage and Jorginho, both names have come up before as well. Zayed Khan, you're saying Sandro, Jorginho and Milinkovic, Savic. Lee Pendleton, you're saying Alderweire, Kieran Tierney, the left back from Celtic. We've already been linked with him. A young prospect who is looking very, very good. A bit like when Van Dijk was at Celtic as well. Uh, Man United didn't sign Van Dijk, he went to Southampton. Then he went to Liverpool as one of their, I think he is their record signing ever. Now, could Kieran Tierney follow the same path? Plenty of clubs being linked with him. And he also saying Milinkovic, Savic. Smithereens, you're saying Alderweire, Sandro and Milinkovic, Savic. Kieran, you're saying Sandro, Joshua Kimmich and Jean-Michel Seri. First time we've heard his name, he plays for Nice again. Haven't seen much of him. So, Kieran, if you're watching, let me know why he would be such a good signing in the comments. Joshua Kimmich, second shout for him. And Sandro, his name's cropped up seven or eight times. Lots and lots of you want us to sign Sandro. You can see why, because left back really is a problem for United. And then we've got Barishan. You're saying Fred from Shakhtar, Sandro from Juve, and Odrio Zola. First time we've heard that name. He plays for Real Sociedad. Haven't seen him play football at all this season. So, if Barishan, if you're watching, let me know why in the comments, or if anybody has... Is he a good enough player for United? Uh, we've got Dylan. How are you doing, Dylan? He's saying Tierney, Fabinho and Milinkovic Savic. We've had all three of those names before as well. Neil, MUFC, saying Sandro Sidibe from Monaco and Jorginho as well. First time we've heard Sidibe's name. But Neil, if you're watching, again, let me know why in the comments. Or if you have watched much of Sidibe, let me know. GG, you're saying Savic, Sandro and Sidibe. Second time we've seen Sidibe there. Kieran, you're saying Fabinho, Fred and Sandro. Loads and loads of names cropping up and being thrown at me there, but the three that really are cropping up the most are Alderweireld, Sandro and Milinkovic, Savic. Do you think that would be Man United's ideal three summer signings? Or what three would you choose? So I want you to let me know now in the comments who would be your three ideal signings and what three positions do you think Man United really need to strengthen in the summer? As I said, there's been loads and loads of replies, so thank you all for replying on Twitter. But make sure you get your comments in below. I really want to know who you think. We'll be doing loads and loads of transfer videos over the summer and more with some research after we've had a look into the players. But this one is just, I really want to know who your three ideal signings are. So get commenting now.